Hey everybody, what's up? It's Tom here from toolswithtom.com. What I want to take you through today is how you can create awesome personalized images for your email marketing using an awesome tool called Nifty Images. You can find Nifty Images at niftyimages.com. Essentially, they, they do two things. They allow you to create personalized images that include the user's first name or some other field within the actual uh, image itself. Uh, which is really, really awesome and improves engagement massively. They also do countdown timers so you can create an awesome sense of urgency when you're sending out the emails, which really work well when you've got any kind of a sale on like a flash sale or maybe even something around Black Friday as well. So what we're going to begin with today in showing is how Nifty Images work. So even if you just go on their homepage, you can see this is an example of what the image looks like. And if you update the name there, so it's got Taylor in there by default. But if I put Tom in there, you can see that that's then updated the image to actually include my name in it, which is super awesome. Um, and we can then go about setting this up for, for our own campaigns as well. So how we actually go about using this is I'm going to start back again from the very beginning. So I'm just going to delete the one I've already got in here, just give me a moment. Cool, okay, so this is the first page once we've signed up that we'll see. It's totally free to sign up. They allow you to uh, create the images and then have them running for a certain amount of opens for free. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on new personalized image and I'm going to choose one of the templates. As you can see here, you can upload your own image as well if you'd like to use it, but we're just going to stick with a template today. So I'm gonna have a look through what they've got. Here's an example, they've got some e-commerce ones in here that I could use. There's ones of iPhones, of free shipping, range of different ones we can go about using. So, Let's go back to the featured templates. What we'll use as a starting spot is, I really like this copy template, which has just got the uh, the first name of the recipient on the top of the coffee cup. You can see it there, first name. So if I click on copy to go, which is the template's name, the first thing it's going to ask me to do is to provide a default value. So essentially when you don't have the recipient's name as part of your email database, it will use this default value. So it's got in there just saying you, I'm just going to remove the exclamation mark. And I think that that's as good as it, as it can be. Um, you can though change what you want that fallback message to be. If you wanted it to be, you know, uh, VIP. Why don't we just leave it as VIP as an example, show what it can be done with that. Okay. So I'm going to hit save. I'm going to provide a name for my personalized image, coffee cup test. You can name this one, whatever you'd like to call it. Now that I've hit save, you can see that the first thing it's providing me with is a little bit of HTML that I can then use within my email service provider. So one of the really great things about this is you can see at the very end there, it's got text equals F name, which stands for first name. So it's got that URL parameter. So it automatically through that will then define and merge against all of your existing um, recipients within that list, providing they've got that first name in there. If they don't, it's going to go to the fallback. So if I go down here where it says change ESP, say I want to check that this code at the end is the field merge tag that my specific email service provider uses, you can see that they've got an awesome list of all the different providers as well. So there's Aweber, you know, everything, Eloqua, all the top providers included as part of this list. But we're going to be using MailChimp as our example today. So I'm going to just start with using MailChimp over here. You can see that that's then pulled in the field merge tag that MailChimp uses when it's doing its sends. So now I hit on got it. And now essentially we are ready to go. So now that that's set up, the next thing I'm going to do is jump into MailChimp.com. I'll just quickly log in.
Okay. Okay, so I've just created a test account here in MailChimp to try this out. So the first thing that I'm going to need to do is just go ahead and go to create campaign. Over in here, it's asking I'll do a regular campaign. Send to my whopping list of two subscribers. Set up nifty images testing subject line. This is my nifty image. Everything else can stay the same. We then go ahead and select the template that we want to use. So I'm just going to use the basic one column template. Okay. Now, now that this is loaded, you'll see that a lot of us would think that the Nifty Images code needs to somehow go within this image block. However, this is really set up for JPEG and PNG images, so it won't actually work with your Nifty Images file. So the, the best thing to do for this is simply just to delete this block and to replace it with a text block. Now, once we put the text block in there, you can see, as we know, we can, we can edit the text in MailChimp to our heart's content. But what we can also do is in this top right, it's got these little triangles, which is for source. If I click on that, it's actually going to be where it shows the actual HTML. So if I go back to my Nifty Images code and I select all of that and I go to copy, copy that bit of code. Now within MailChimp, I'll delete everything else out of my text block and then right click and go to paste and include in my Nifty Images image. I hit save and close. Usually takes a little bit of time to load, but there it is there. So that's looking good. You can see that it's pulled in. It's got that field merge tag in there as it should be in MailChimp. The one thing that I might wanna update is I might wanna center align that image. So if I go over to where it says style in text, and if I go to align and I choose center align, there we are. That's all ready to go. So now that I've gone ahead and I've set up my image, the next thing that I'm going to do is simply send this one out. And I'm going to just show in two examples how the email uh, differs depending on who the recipient is. So just quickly go to next. At a moment. Cool. Ah, so it's still got I've still got the placeholder text in here, so let me just quickly update that. Now Jim's very clever in working out if you've just gone ahead and skipped through to what you want to do. text at the top. Once you've actually gone through and you actually spend the time personalizing this if you were doing it yourself, but everything else is ready to go. I'm going to hit on send, moment of glory, send out my email. Okay, fantastic. So that's now gone out in the send queue and it will send shortly. So let's have a look at my two examples of who I sent this email to. Okay, so just logging into my email account and we should be able to see the first, hopefully the first email that we've got through in there is the one that we've just sent, which will include in my personalized Nifty image. So here's the email that I sent. This is my Nifty image and there you go. So it's actually then gone ahead and it's personalized my name just for that send, which is super cool really, really personalized 
And you can imagine if you do this on scale that you could get some really fantastic results depending on where you're looking to use it and which template you go about using as well. I've seen, you know, everyone from uh, the Socceroos here in Australia, the Australian soccer team actually personalizing the name back of the jersey. Uh, even things to uh, guys like Neil Patel, who actually have somebody holding up a sign. He has, it's actually him holding up the sign saying, sorry that you missed my webinar and then your name. Really, really personalized way on really effective way of sending an awesome email without having to do a lot of heavy lifting and actually creating individual images for everyone and then personalizing those sends. You can do it all at scale using nifty images and then just a simple email service provider like MailChimp. So guys, that's essentially it for today. And as you can see, it's a really super simple thing to set up. If you have any questions, I'm always here to chat. My email is tom at tourswithtom.com. And until next time, keep being awesome. Thanks so much.